to another estrogen release video. I am Asia, and in today's video, I just filmed a reel. So I have my chicken wings in front of me. It's kind of, I want to say promoting this, but I found a cute combo. So that's what that's about. But I wanted to get on here and tell you guys, Happy New Year. <laughs> and I know y'all probably like, girl, we already two months in. Yes, it is the end of February. But I just wanted my first video to start off by saying Happy New Year to you all because I didn't get a chance to say it. Y'all, 2024 started off with a bang. I mean, just back to back to back crazy. However, I'm here and now I can post more. I'm in a space where I can post more. So I'm trying to get back into it. Y'all know me. What's even crazier is that I filmed this whole video. Like literally, I just had probably maybe one voiceover to do. And then my laptop died, my MacBook. And that crushed me. I've had my baby for, it would have been probably six years, seven years, six years in August. But you know, life happens, it is what it is. I got a new MacBook, refurbished a video to come about that later, very, very later, but yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm ready to get back into it. So that being said, the main thing that I want this video to be about is not just me eating chicken wings, even though these chicken wings are actually really, really good today. Usually it's America's best wings is sometimes a hit or miss. They're banging today, especially with this syrup, but Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I really wanted to get on here and talk about the things that I'm just excited for, excited about this year. Events, uh, vacations, um, just getting more content out there, meeting more people, doing more things. I was really excited to just kind of live life and I always, you know, estrogen release is really about documenting the little moments. I'm just excited to do more of that. So the first thing 100% that I have to focus on is meeting other creators. I realize that when I'm in a space with other creatives, it kind of charges me up a little bit, gets me excited. It reminds me that I'm not alone. The issues that I have, other people have them too. Um, and it's just very encouraging. It's easier to get burnt out when you're not in creative spaces because you don't have that those people nudging you on or giving you ideas, it's not really anything that you can draw upon except for yourself. And so when you're always tapping into yourself in that space, it's easier to get burnt out. And I am the queen of burnout. So yeah, definitely focusing on more creator events, meeting more creatives, helping other creators with their work. I really, 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 really wanna shadow people this year because I want to get to the point where I can pretty much run my own show, run my own project. And I'm not talking about this because clearly I still have ways to go with this, but I really want to be able to run a, a bigger production one day. So I have to get in those spaces and meet those people and work with them. And so I'm really excited to get more into that this year. Mm. Bro, I'm dipping it. I know I said it already, but I'm dipping it in this sauce. I mean, this syrup and it's spicy maple. So it's like, hit me baby one more time. And I got lemon pepper and old bag, so it's just like. Last December, I did attend a creator's event. It was at the studio and the people were so cool. Great conversation and it goes back to what I was saying earlier where you just feel like you're in the same fight the same issues, the same disgruntlements that you have with this whole world of being a content creator. It's not, you're not alone. There's a lot of people who are dealing with the same exact thing that you're doing. So just listening to them and hearing out their solutions or, you know, just basically talking about it. I was just like, yeah, I need to do more of this. So definitely gonna do more of that. And again, I do like the little moments. I like vlogging, but I also wanna get back into my segment era. Like I feel like back in the day I had I still feel like I, I kept up with my segments last year with DMV treats and DMV living and things like that. But I really want to get back to those like weird segments when I cook sometimes and you know, tech talks and stuff. And I just really want to get more segment oriented. And um, yeah, I got some ideas coming for you. My first segment, I don't know how, you know, how quick I'm going to get to this because I have to budget for it, but y'all, my food was out of control. She is out of control. Like, I know I'm eating chicken wings right now. Last year, I went to an event and baby girl showed out. Like, she was large and in charge. She was there to make an appearance. 
she was like, I'm here. Let's get into it. Like, and you know, I'm on this, this love yourself, love your body, trying to get more and more into that each and every year of my life. However, she's just doing too much. She's just doing too much. And again, I honestly don't think it's my body weight. Cause you know, y'all probably gonna be like, well, Asia, are you gonna eat healthier? Or are you gonna work out more? No. No, I think it's my body shape that I'm not rocking with. So it's like, no matter how much weight I lose, I'm still not gonna enjoy the shape. Again, it's a journey. I'm still trying to work through it. But the FUPA is just, it's just one thing I cannot rock with. Basically, my FUPA has gotten married. Baby girl started a family. She got kids, yo. She said she gonna go up that mountain to save her marriage, okay? So I'm over it. I'm over it 100%. And I think I'm gonna work it into a segment where I am on the hunt for the best shapewear. I just feel like I need to conceal her a little bit more. Shapewear to me is the best option at the moment. So I am going to be testing out a few of them. I'm going to put money aside to make this a priority because this summer, like I said, I'm going on vacation. I need to be snatched. I need to be right. I need to be tight. Like I just need to, I need to feel good. And part of feeling good is also looking good at times. So, but yeah, be on the lookout for that segment. Mm, mm. So outside of that, that's pretty much everything. I am excited to get more content, getting back to enjoying posting content. That's what I really, really want to do. I want to be in a space where I enjoy making videos, making reels, posting pictures. Like I want to enjoy it again. And I feel like probably around like 2021, that's when the algorithm, oh, 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 oh. around 2021, that's when the algorithm really, really changed is specifically on uh, Instagram. And it just became about the numbers for me in a sense. I still enjoyed it, but I felt like that enjoyment was getting suppressed by the desire to kind of get that engagement up or find ways to engage my audience but now I'm just like look who cares the world's about to end you know who cares like it is what it is like just have fun you know I'm keep working throughout that or working with that mentality I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna post things that I really want to post versus things that I think that people will like so with that being said I have one last thing I want to share with you guys because at this point, it's like no content left behind. Last year, I got a bigger TV, um, so I needed a bigger TV stand. And y'all, it came so fluke, like it was just bad. And so I went to Home Depot and basically got the materials to kind of use the stuff that came with the TV stand and create a new TV stand. Now, it was very, very minor work, but I was really proud of myself. So here's some clips from that. So y'all, the first attempt, I was stressed. The boards weren't labeled correctly and I started splitting the boards, trying to screw everything in. Even the instructions were bootleg. So at that point I realized, okay, this isn't gonna work. You gotta figure out something else. So I started doing a little bit of research and yes, I could have asked someone else to help me, but I got a strong, girl you can do it spirit so i just looked some stuff up looked some materials up went to home depot talked to a worker got a drill bits brackets and i got to work so basically i was going to keep the rectangle shape and connect all the boards with brackets so i had to drill holes into the boards first and then drill down the brackets so I marked my measurements and then started drilling. When it started working, I was like super psyched. Like I was very proud of myself. I felt like I was fulfilling a mini fantasy. I had a fake tool set as a kid. So it was like a completed circle. Like Bob the Builder, you know, he put that in me. He put those images in my brain and I'm like, you know what? I can do this. So I just want to tell all the ladies out there, you can do it, okay? Don't let anyone tell you you can't. You got it. Just do your research and knock it out. All right? Bye.
I'm gonna show you all what I can do. But here we are at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here. I really, really appreciate the people who rock with me and keep, you know, watching my content. <clears throat> the people who keep watching my content, I really, really do appreciate it. It's not easy. And so when people who actually, you know, take time out of their days to watch it, it just means the world to me. But thank you all. Thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Ooh, I never did that before. Peace. Bye. Am I going to like that? Yeah. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.